Hello and welcome back to my RC channel. I'm Andy RC and today I'm making an update to the real steady video that I made a few days ago. Now I did try to address this on the Let's Drone Out live podcast from Mini Air Show 5 yesterday, but we ran out of data on the 4G at the end, so apologies for that. But I've taken my original video down, so I'll explain what the situation was and is now. So this is the Real Steady website and they offer two products to smooth out your video footage. One is an Adobe After Effects plugin and the other one is a standalone program for a GoPro. And I knew when I was making a video about it that it would divide a lot of people because obviously there are people using the products and getting great use out of them and where I went wrong is that I didn't admit that I had made a mistake and could have looped into the fine print much deeper and that's because I was making the video to try and save people money and it wasn't for the people who already had the software and were happily using it but of course they were going to find the video and call me all kinds of names under the sun which is fair enough. But I removed that video because something really positive has come out of it and that's what I was hoping for because I wasn't getting a response from Real Steady after a couple of weeks of trying. So again this is the Real Steady website and here are their two products the After Effects plugin version and the standalone version and as you can see the GoPro version is much cheaper than the After Effects version. Then we have the options add to cart or there's a button where you can check out a free trial and then we've got a learn more button and when you click free trial they are full versions of the software but they've got a watermark over them and then we have a learn more button which is kind of a marketing page for each of the products now for as many comments in the last video that said awesome you've saved me X amount of dollars there were comments that said why would you put four hundred dollars down of your own money without reading the small print and those reasons are that there were a lot of people hyping this product and rightly so for the kind of stuff that we do I mean the results from a cinematic perspective were absolutely superb and I use After Effects frequently so this was just going to be another cool thing in my arsenal and lastly this is a review channel I wasn't buying it just for myself what was the last thing that I bought RC related that was just for myself I'm trying to think oh probably crossfire but with most other things, I put all of my money into cool new stuff with the intention of telling you guys what's good and what's not good about it. Now, I understand that my setup doesn't give that impression because I don't sit behind a big fancy desk and have a nice studio, but that's what I do and most companies do have a refund policy, but it was my mistake to assume that. So the issues that I had wasn't with the software specifically, it was more regarding the lack of transparency on the product's compatibility and limitations. And the way that you have to find out about these was to click the support button and then select the product that you're interested in. So let's start with the After Effects plugin. And then we get this list of links to click and if you click the FAQ then the top question says the plugin is only working on OS X with older versions of After Effects why is this and then it goes on to tell you that you will have to roll back to quite an old version of After Effects and if you aren't happy about this then you can actually run two versions of after Effects, both the latest version and the one that works with the plugin. Now, interestingly, it didn't say that a couple of days ago. If we refer back to my last video, it mentioned it working with Windows, but I talked about how it was really slow and crashed a lot in Windows, so it looks like they've ditched the support for Windows with After Effects altogether. But regardless to that change, 
information like that needs to be easier to find in my opinion well thanks to the people who appreciated the video that I made and contacted the company and I specifically want to give a shout out to Wynn Davies here who managed to get through to Real Steady and show me their response I'm glad to say that that's now changed now I don't know why I wasn't getting any responses to my emails the statement that I'll read to you in a moment says that they got missed but despite all of the hits that I took in making that video and the dislikes and the hate when you now go to buy the After Effects plugin version it says please note this product is only compatible with OS X and older versions of After Effects until further notice please visit our FAQ or products compatibility page for more info and that's all it needed for a dummy like me. So I got a praise real steady for doing that. And they also refunded me even though it's against their policy, which I appreciate because it's a lot of money to find out that I can't show you guys what it does. And the issue I took with Real Steady Go which is the GoPro version, is that in the main page it says that it's for anybody with a GoPro. But then you would have to click the support option again and press real steady go and then there's a section regarding drone vibration issues and it mentions that unless you have a GoPro Hero 6 that you have to do some pretty hefty vibration dampening to get good results but now if you press the buy it now button you get an option that says do you plan to use this with a drone and if you click yes it takes you to that page explaining the limitations which again for a dummy like me is all that I needed. They've also added their returns policy to every page on their website which is important. So I'll read out a statement that I received from Real Steady because I think this is really important to show as well. It says, Hi Andrew, I'm reaching out to try and make up for the bad experience you had with our products. We've refunded your order for Real Steady After Effects plugin, and if you'd like, we can also refund your purchase of Real Steady Go. We apologize for missing your previous message. I think you'll find that we're quite reasonable on working with customers for many of the issues that you've encountered. Our try it before you buy it policy may need Need some further explanation. When we launched our first professional product in 2015, we put a lot of thought into how we could let the customer explore and evaluate the product while also ensuring protection of our business against usage of our products that we receive no compensation for. I think in other words, someone could maybe buy it for just one project and get the results that they wanted, but then say, no, I didn't like it, and then get their money back. We believed that a fully functional demo version would be the most transparent way for the customer to evaluate the product without risk to them or to our business. We listened to your feedback and as a result we've made some changes to our store including updating our site to include a link to our return policy on every page. A warning about After Effects compatibility is now displayed before the product is fully added to your cart. We also created a similar page for Real Steady Go which warns customers about vibration issues with drones before it can be added to the cart. We hope that these updates help to address your concerns. Please let us know if you have any further feedback regarding transparency in our products and policies. You should know that our new product, Real Steady Go, was made with people like you, FPV pilots, in mind. We've listened to other pilots bring up many of the same issues that you've had with our After Effects plugin, and Real Steady Go is our first attempt at addressing them. Independence from After Effects, speed, ease of use, and price point are the direct result of feedback from people like yourself. We are always listening to our customers and have already incorporated feedback into those features coming up 
in the next update of Real Steady Go. Thank you for your time. We hope to regain your trust and business in the future. Co-founder realsteady.com. Well, they have, and I will be keeping the Real Steady Go application because it's much less of a loss if I can't get it to work. And who knows if I can get my head around the vibration issues because I don't own a Hero 6, then it might make for a good video. I did read a comment that really made me laugh though, and it said, so if we see prop wash in videos now, does that mean that it's the only way we know that the pilot is legit? And for me, this kind of software isn't about that. People will certainly use it to make them look like a better pilot or a better tuner or whatever. But drones, quadcopters, whatever you want to call them, don't have the best reputation at the moment. Yet all of the media and people responsible for the hysteria around them are the ones that are using them the most. So if software like this can revolutionize jobs within drones, such as making adverts for companies or even film work for TV programs, I'm all for it because our jobs are just getting replaced with machines now and robots. And software like this, when working properly, could turn your hobby into a career. Because go and check out Johnny FPV's YouTube channel. He's doing exactly that and he's doing it brilliantly. And the comment made me laugh as well because it's like when auto-tune came out in the music world. You would embrace somebody not quite hitting a note when they were singing because you knew that their singing was legit. But then it can also be used as an instrument itself. It's just the context in which it's used. And I think I will leave it there, but I just want to state in no way have I been asked by Real Steady to make this video. When a company steps up to the challenge, then I'm going to make it known because it's important to show that. And when I've made a mistake and not addressed it properly, I want to make sure that I do. So, as always, thanks so much for watching. Please continue to subscribe. Cheers.